So a little story to begin. Last year on Mother's Day, I shared with you a poem that I had written called The House of God. And in the time right after that, there was one line from that poem that seemed to want to live on in me. And the line was, when you stand exposed by the limits of being human. And it began to manifest itself in me in a way that tortured me, really, at first. It was this question that I kept asking myself. I kept asking, how do I stand up under the weight of affecting generations to come with my mistakes? My successes, my failures, my healed and not healed self. Thankfully, over time, the question became broader and gentler. And instead, I began to ask, when the work is deeply meaningful, when we know we will not complete it, or do it to perfection, or do it like anybody else, how do we find the courage, the hope, the energy to walk into it anyway? And from there, I began to ask, what does God do when we encounter our limits and our fragility? In the end, I just realized how very human it is to feel at times like life is asking more of us than we have and more of us than we are. To feel that life is big and ourselves small in the face of it. To feel that what is in front of us is important, but somehow we aren't doing it, or can't do it, or it's too hard. And with that understanding came this desire simply to bless humanness today. I don't have a complete answer to any of those questions that I've been asking, but what I want to do is share with you what I have heard as I have wrestled and listened. So, receive this blessing. Repeat these words to yourself. I am good. I belong. I am called. Today, you can accept that from beginning to end, we are all light and dark. Like those who went before you and those who come after you. Every day, human. Not the whole picture, not the whole story, and not me. You were made to be one person with something to contribute to the whole. And it is time. Time to own that you are here now. Own your gifts. Own your shadows. Your insecurity and maturity. Your true capacity, its expanse and its limits. Your place. Because no one can be what you are here to be. So listen to me. Take yourself off the hook. Do it now. The meat hook, the fish hook, go back to the field and back to the water. Get yourself out from under the microscope. Sit up. Jump down. Be moved to a spacious place. Leave the room where you sit under the juror's gaze. Stand up. Walk out. And return to your home. And arrive there hearing the voice of God saying, Just rest, daughter. Just rest, son. You are good. You are, you belong. You are called. I am giving you all you need to do the work I have for you. You don't have to be enough. You don't have to be something for everyone. You just need to do what I am asking. You are exactly who I need you to be for the tasks that are yours. I am not afraid to watch you walk out your calling. Along this unfamiliar path, I will lead you gently. I will gather you in arms that can hold. Severity doesn't serve. Knowing how is not your savior. Worry doesn't guard the sacred future. Put down those heavy bricks. I will complete this. I am carrying this. All will be well. And in answer, you say the only thing you can say. Here I am. 
I will give myself. I will do it as me. And you hear back what you most need to hear. Here am I. Here I am, yours and God's, simultaneous. And then you will be able to say what you most need to say. Children, I honor the life of God in you. Repeat these words with me. I am good. I belong.